Looking to move to America's seaplane city, aka Tavares? Well, in this video, I talk all things pro and con of moving to and living in seaplane city of America, Tavares. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Living with D. And if this is your first time, make sure to press that thumbs up button, show us some love because we bring you community videos all throughout Central Florida and Tampa areas. If you are looking to build a brand new home anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa, make sure to check out Orlando Home Show where we post eight plus homes every single month. Now guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about the pro and con of moving to America's seaplane city, AKA Tavares. Now guys, when I give you this pro and con, I really, really, really want you to understand that this is just my take. You know, a pro to me could be a con, Talking about the pro, look at this beautiful weather that we are shooting in today. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if you are looking and you are up north and just enjoying the weather, as you have seen what it had been for the last couple of years with the snowstorm, hailstorm, everything else in between, this is beautiful. You know, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. I'm shooting this in the second week of January and it's just pleasant. I'm standing right across from the lake now. Tavares, you know, is, is located as one of the main cities right here in Central Florida. You're just about an hour, 15 minutes to the airport. And the number one pro, of course, of moving to any part of Florida is definitely that there is no state income tax. And then look at this beautiful weather. Then again, if you don't like hot and humid, then this may be a con. So now that the first pro is done, let's talk about the next pro of moving to and living in Tavares. So the other pro of moving to and living in Tavares has to do with the lifestyle that it gives you. Now, if you are into to water sports, recreational, seaplane, everything, I mean, like, look at this. I'm like, I'm standing right at the public boat ramp. If you have a seaplane, you can just launch it from here, do your thing. It is just absolutely amazing. And Tavares is actually the is, is very centrally located when you look at the villages, when you look at Mount Dora, when you look at Leesburg, and you're surrounded by a bunch of lakes. You have Mount Dora, I'm sorry, you have Lake Dora, you have uh, Lake Eustace, and then you also have Lake Harris. So if you like the water, and you want to come out and do your thing on the water, it, it is right there. You cannot go wrong. You're also not very far, as I was saying, and the prices are very affordable. Now let's talk about the next pro of moving to and living in America's seaplane city, Tavares. So the last pro of moving to and living in Tavares has to do with the Florida housing market. Now, Florida is, is the number one uh, or the one of the top destination for people that are retiring because of the weather, because of no state income tax. And, and Tavares is just absolutely amazing because the average uh, median price in Tavares is still in, in lower 300s. So this is really good if you are looking to retire and you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle of all the parks and Disney World, Universal, Sea World, everything else. You want to be a little bit away and still enjoy, have the grandkids come and still enjoy, but you also don't want to be in the villages, which may be a little too crowded for you or you're just not into golfing because villages is really really good in regards to the golfing and other kind of amenities but if you are more of an outdoor person a water person then Tavares is def definitely a great contender for this uh, and guys uh, if you haven't watched my other community videos make sure to check out the community video link because I do these videos all the time and when I talk about pro and cons please understand this is just my take so just take it with a grain of salt. So now that the pro of moving to and living in Tavares is done, let's talk about the con of why you wouldn't want to move to Tavares. So the no 
number one con of moving to and living in Tavares has to do with the distance uh, in comparison to the airport, in comparison to the theme park. And like as I was saying, it may be a good thing, may not be a good thing. It really depends upon your situation. But one thing that I do want you to know is that as the roads are built around it, there's probably one way in and one way out. So once you get to Tavares, it's a smaller city um, or a smaller suburban area of Central Florida. And uh, there's not a lot of roads in, in regards to like, you know, multi-lane highway or there's just one main road that kind of brings you in, uh, brings you out. So there could be congestion at times. So it really depends. But the thing is that this is also really famous for uh, uh, as a retirement community. So the most people People that are there they're basically more people that are kind of retiring into it so now let's talk about the next con of moving to and living in Tavares So the other major con of moving to and living in Tavares is the education system. Now, Tavares is a small city, you know, it only has one zip code. There's not a lot of, uh, it's, it doesn't really have a big infrastructure when it comes to education. And, and if you have kids and you're thinking about kind of uh, finding the best schools, then then you may not be in luck when, it, when you decide to move to Tavares because it is just more of a retirement community. There's not... There is an infrastructure for schools, but it's not as great as the neighboring cities that you could find. So that is something to keep in mind. Now let's talk about the last con of moving to and living in Tavares. So the last con of moving to and living in Tavares has to do with the shopping and dining. If you're looking for a major mall experience, you probably have to go to the villages or you would have to go to Leesburg uh, because there's not a major shopping area or dining options. There's a lot of mom and pop shops here uh, that does really help. And it's just a small community, as I mentioned, but it's beautiful. Look at the weather. I'm right by the marina. So this is a really nice community. If you had enough of that snow that you get up north or if you just looking for a nice area that you're not very far from everything and and you're well within an hour grandkids can come and visit it's a really nice community uh, as such to retire into more so as, as you compare that to villages or some other areas i hope you get a lot of value from our videos and if you do press that thumbs up button show us some love we look forward to connect with you in 2023 and assist you until the next community video thank you for watching bye for now